So in this video, I want to talk about the power of the subconscious mind or the subjective mind, if we're talking about it from a new thought perspective, um, versus the conscious mind and how when you really nail getting that feeling, that energy, that vibration, the subconscious mind, you radically change your life because then it impresses on the universal mind and causes everything to start coming to you. So we want to get into that and what that's like. And I think this is one little thing. I'm going to share one little thing in this video today that is something I've been contemplating a lot that I think is so, so important in this area. And when you get it, you begin to realize that, and, I, and me personally too, I begin to realize that it was much easier than I ever thought it had to be. Like I made it way harder than it needed to be back, back in the day. So let's dive in and talk about that a little bit more. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is that if you got a conscious mind that's really busy, really going nuts, really going crazy, you're gonna have a really hard time pressing on the unconscious mind, impressing on the unconscious mind. See the law of attraction or that part of your brain that, that sorts for and pulls things to you, the things you want in your, in your world, that's in the subconscious mind. So you can think all day long, I'm a millionaire, I'm amazing with women, I'm a sexy bastard. You can impress it right here, you can yell, you can scream it, you can jump up and down in front of the mirror. That will not change a damn thing if it never reaches the subconscious mind and ultimately the universal mind. It has to get through those, those layers before life in the external world starts to change. Because if I think all day long I'm a sexy bastard and all I'm doing is activating the law of polarity, that part of myself that's not a sexy bastard, doesn't feel like a sexy bastard, I'm going, no, you're not. Oh, you're an idiot. And the more I scream at my mind, I'm a sexy bastard, and the more my mind goes, no, you're, you're really kind of ugly. You're too short. You don't have enough money. Women don't like you. Come on, buddy. And I keep having that battle and I keep losing, the more I'm actually growing the negative side of myself. And by doing this over and over again, I'm activating the law of polarity. See, uh, when I say I'm really sexy and the po polarity of that is I'm not sexy and I keep triggering that polarity over and over again and I don't deal with that properly, this eventually gets bigger, excuse me, this way, this eventually gets bigger and this kind of disappears. I get frustrated and I quit. I go into apathy. So what do you do about that? How do you solve that problem? Well, first off, you got to learn to chunk it way down. If you want to feel like a sexy bastard, Stop trying to feel like a sexy bastard all at once. Stop trying to force it. Stop trying to jam it into your brain. Don't yell it in the mirror a million times. Start with where you're at. If you can find 1% of yourself, a tiny little speck of yourself that feels like a sexy bastard, nurture that. Play with that day in and day out. Throughout the day, check in five times a day. Are you still there? Check in six times, 10 times a day. Are you still there? I've done this literally when I was turning on that, that turned on part of myself, that sexual part of myself and my hips that was really numbed out, I, I started with a little speck and I would just sit there and feel that little speck and I would nurture that speck. And throughout the day, at least five times a day, I think I actually set an alarm, I would sit there and just, are you still there? Can I still feel you? And I kept nurturing it till it started to grow in me and became a part of me. That's when it starts to become muscle memory. Just like an athlete, it eventually will become muscle memory and that's what you want. Think about it. If, you, if you've ever lifted weights and you've built a lot of muscle and you quit and you quit working out for a while, you shrink, it comes back really fast because the body knows what it feels like. And so when you begin to feel deep inside yourself and you begin to understand what the feeling is, it's like a little radio signal in the background of your mind that feels this way. And you begin to tune into that and tune that up and keep checking in with that that's when it begins to grow and spread through your whole body and become a part of you. And that's when you become a true athlete versus trying to force it all in at once. Start with what you can handle. Start small if you have to. If you're really negative and I can feel just a little bit, that's where you start. Now, before I go on, I wanna tell you that if you haven't dealt with your monkey mind, you got a noisy mind that's yelling at you a lot, no, I'm not, and you haven't dealt with that, you've got to deal with that first. So check out my last video on meditation or the one before that, uh, there's a link to my last video in here and the importance of that to slow that mind down. Because if you don't slow that mind down, you don't get it under control, nothing's ever gonna get through to the unconscious mind and ultimately to the universal mind to start to change your reality. Now, I wanna share a story with you and then I wanna share the thing I talked about in the beginning. This little realization I had that it's much easier to do this than you think if you understand this one little principle. One of my clients called me recently and now, uh, uh, his name is Eddie. And Eddie killed it with women, but he was terrible when he came to me. He was so bad, women would run away from him. But then something happened in his life. 
he started to do the work the way I'm talking about, a little bit each day, a little bit each day. And he went downhill and got heavy for a while. But then when he came up, suddenly women liked him and they liked him a lot. He had more dates than he knew what to do with. Now, Eddie is 5'2". He's a little chubby. He was losing his hair and he still became magnetic to women. You see, it's not about what you look like. It's a largely about who you're being. And Eddie knew how to be a leader. He knew how to take charge. He knew how to be grounding. He, and when he got that story inside of himself that I'm a sexy bastard, it didn't matter at that point. He said, at, in the beginning, he used to try to hide his height all the time. He'd wear like implants in his shoes and all this stuff. Then later he said, he said, oh, I love it when I have to stand on a bench to kiss a girl or stand on a, on, on a step stool to kiss a girl. It's damn sexy. And the women began to like it too because he didn't have a problem with it. As he began to change, the way women connected with him also began to change. Now, Eddie called me today out of the blue. And he said, he said, it's interesting. He went out to dinner with a friend and his, and his friend's girlfriend to talk about uh, a business deal. And he said, his friend called him the next day and said, I think my girlfriend likes you. And he's like, what do you mean? So she just won't stop talking about you. She talks about how cool you are. And he's like, wow, I still got it coach. Cause he, Eddie has now been married for several years to a gorgeous woman. And he was like, wow, it's still in me. And I'm like, yes, it's in you because it's muscle memory. It's part of who you are now you naturally attract women. So now I wanna share that part that I think is so important that I was really thinking about a lot today over the last few days. That if you're really good with women, you're not sitting there all day saying, I'm a sexy bastard. You don't even have to feel it to a, 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 a huge degree. Matter of fact, most of the time, you're not gonna be noticing it at all because it's gonna be a feeling in the subconscious mind, not in the conscious mind. And when it finally hooks in the subconscious mind, it's gonna be like this little radio signal in the background. and it's just gonna be like, just like w when you receive a lot of money because you're used to making money. I make a lot of money, yeah, why wouldn't the money be here? It's gonna be more like that. Or why wouldn't women like me? Like you're not gonna be walking around all day saying I'm a sexy bastard, but you're also not gonna be walking around all day beating yourself up. You're not gonna be having those negative thoughts that say I'm not good enough. You're just gonna be like, hey, oh, there's my buddy. Oh, there's so-and-so having a good day. Look at the sun. And if somebody says, do you feel like a sexy bastard? You just feel into your body? You go, yep, there it is. There's that little subtle feeling in the background of my mind. And it feels fucking amazing. I fuck yeah, I feel like a sexy bastard. Why wouldn't I be? I'm, I'm a man, women like men. And that's what it comes down to. When you can get that subtle, constant feeling, when you can start to tune in five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day and say, yep, still there. And there's no negative thought countering it or very little. That's when magic will start to happen. When you could set a timer on your phone and go, yep, still there, still there. But if you sit down and you go, do I feel like a sexy bastard? And there's a little voice in your head that, and you get a little heavy, heavier, and a little voice in your head goes, no, you don't. Oh, you'll never be good with women. You're not quite there yet. That's that voice has, that hasn't died out yet. That's that little self-talk. And when that guy dies out and you do your check-in and he's no longer there and you're like, yep, I'm a sexy bastard. And then you meditate on it for maybe five minutes. You're going to feel it just amp way up. You'll be able to turn it up, get all those endorphins pumping. It doesn't matter if you're in the park or in the nightclub. You can just shut your eyes. Yep, there it is. I'm turning it way up. And then when you go back about your business and about your day and you don't think about it, it settles down, but it's always there in the background of your mind, that feeling. Women like me, women want to have sex with me. I get dates easily. I met the, and if the feeling is I have the girl of my dreams, I have the amazing relationships, I have the perfect partner, whether she's here or not right now, she, when that becomes constant with no negative self-talk, trust me, she will show up. So if you're ready to radically shift your life, it's not about the big feeling. The big feelings help you to program the subconscious mind. But ultimately, it's about those little feelings running in the background, those little emotions. And they're just, they're just sitting there. And you tune into them, and they're there. Oh, yeah, I have plenty of money. Oh, yeah, I'm a sexy bastard. Oh, I feel really good about myself. I have six-pack abs. Yeah, why wouldn't I have six-pack abs? I take care of myself. There's a sense of why wouldn't I? Oh, yeah, and when somebody tries to challenge it and you really enjoy that feeling. So I'm gonna invite you to just start to think about it this way. If you've got a monkey mind that's constantly talking negative to you, constantly uh, abusing you and beating you up, check out my last two videos I did, especially the last one on meditation and the one before that, and really start to get that monkey mind under control. I met using meditation and the revealing process. First, you gotta still the mind, then you gotta let go of all that garbage. And you gotta keep letting go of that garbage consistency is your friend because to get this little radio signal in the background of your mind to the point where it's constant and consistent all the time it's gonna take a little bit of an effort 
It's going to take some work to clear that mind out, get that monkey mind settled down, and to start opening up and reprogramming. It might take months. It might take three months, six months, depending on how noisy your mind is, especially if you're doing it on your own. But on the other hand, if you just calm this mind down, you've done the meditative work, the releasing work, and your body's open, well, and you start on a new topic, let's say, it's going to be that much faster. Maybe instead of three months now, it'll take one month to make a shift or a week to make a shift because your mind is so cleaned out. The monkey mind is still, when you go to work on yourself, man, that stuff goes right into that, the, uh, the objective mind and ultimately affects the universal mind, which brings the, what you want to you. And, the, and your life begins to look magical. To everybody else, it looks like you think about stuff and it just happens for you. You're just lucky. And in reality, you'll know deep down inside, you've done the work to get your, those minds in order so they all talk to each other cleanly, without any interference, without static, to become the man you want to be. But, and you can shift it at will. You can change it at will. You can move it at will. Uh, and maybe it takes a few days. Maybe it takes a week. Maybe it's instant. Who knows for you at that point but up until then you gotta do this work that's why i in the revealing we talk a lot about the welcoming part is the meditative part and i have given students and i did give eddie this student he was so bad at welcoming before he let go he was always welcoming to get welcoming to get wanting 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 that i gave him the assignment to just welcome and meditate for one month straight and just feel everything get comfortable feeling everything before he started to do another release and at the end of that month, he started to release again, and boy, stuff started to come out. And boy, did things change. He started to shift radically fast. So if you're ready for a big change, understand this video, watch it again, watch my previous video, watch the one before that, check the link out for the previous video in this, and do this work over and over, because this is ultimately getting that little radio signal in the background of your mind tuned properly with what you want and what you've chosen. We're gonna even go beyond want. We're gonna go, I've chosen this, that signal's kicked on. And all those negative self-doubting thoughts are dying out. And, and when I check in with it, all these beautiful thoughts come up. When that clicks on, you are gonna be a beast. You're gonna be powerful. You're gonna be that sexy bastard or you're gonna make money or whatever it is, is you wanna go do. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. It's powerful and it can be life-changing. Now the question is how many of you are gonna apply it? I want you to answer that in the comments. How many of you are gonna do this? Three months, six months, a month? Really do the work to still that mind, the, the conscious mind, and start to be able to, so you can affect the subconscious mind. You gotta still the conscious mind so you can affect the subconscious mind, which then affects the universal mind. So put a comment in the video. Let me know if you're gonna do that work and how long you're committing to. Put a commitment in there to do this work, to learn more about it, okay? And uh, I think that's it. With that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, make sure to comment like I just said. And the more you share, the more you like, the more you subscribe, the more we can grow this channel and we can bring you awesome content. Help us to grow the channel. We wanna hit 100,000 marks as quickly as we can. And that's it guys. And so what would you do if you were fearless? Still hasn't quite rolling off my, the tongue right, but what would you do if you were fearless? Well, that was better. And only the confident really live. See you in the next video. Take care.